Man, everybody's doing the Sambor now. Hello, everybody! My name is Propus, and welcome back to more Medieval Dynasty. I really should name this place sometime. Eh, I'm too lazy, though. So, uh, we are now in winter of year two. In just a few short months, my wife will be giving birth to our heir. She's not showing yet, but I'm assuming it's going to happen. In the meantime, all we are trying to do is continue getting more people to join in to our village. Now, the good news is one really successful conversation is all it takes to get someone willing to join your village. So, saving and reloading is a perfectly viable strat, in my opinion. Case in point, two conversations later, just saying, I hope you're doing all right, twice. Now he's willing to join. Perfect, he'd love to join, but he wants a house. Ah, dang it. Okay, what about you, Damroka? Uh, how have you been lately? Oh, good, we're getting affection with her now. Can you build a harem in this game? I kind of hope that's not the case, but it might very well be the case. Uh, she's not interested in gossip. Well, gosh dang it. Okay, well, we apparently can't get her for a little bit anyway. Need to build more winter homes! Uh, okay, it might be time to start stripping out some of the uh, fields in the middle of my little settlement and start moving them to the proper outskirts. You know, like civilized people. Let's see, we should be able to use my hammer to simply destroy this field entirely, right? There it is, gone. Okay, that works. Supposedly, something you can do um, is if your fields start running out of fertility over time is just delete them entirely and just place them back in the exact same spot and it resets fertility. I don't know if they've changed that recently, though, because we are actually playing on the beta version of the game right now, and there should be some new features involved, though I'm not too sure where to find them. For example, we should be able to go to some of our buildings. Uh, I don't know if it's like, let's say, the hunting lodge. Can we open details and we can change assignments? Aha! We can indeed decide what we want people to work as far as real uh, products and what kind of efficiency to work towards. So everyone work toward getting meat or everyone work toward getting berries, etc., etc. So we can change all of this up if we want to. And that should be the case for a lot of different workplaces, including, uh, let's say... I think we can go to the um, the woodshed and do something kind of similar and tell people to make planks if we want them to. Yeah, go ahead and start making planks or firewood or something like that. Gather up some sticks. Okay, good. Yeah, this actually is really good. So now we can change up a lot of our production and have a lot more micromanagement of our village. I love it. Interestingly enough, it even tells you roughly how much of each different product you can gain per hour. So if we take a look at the needs of our actual uh, village and such, um, in theory, we could make sure that we are producing enough wood based on the demand. Same with food and so on. Oh, that is actually kind of fascinating. Very cool addition to the game. I do think that Wooden Spears got a small update. It looks like their durability has increased a little bit. So instead of uh, one out of three uses, now it looks like it's one out of four. So that's nice. You don't have to craft quite as many spears as before. That said, I'm going to run all the way back out to the iron mine because uh, I have found that that's actually a pretty good way of making some money. Every 10 iron you get, you can make a stack of 50 iron arrows, which seem to sell the best. So every 10 iron plus some sticks ends up being about 350 gold. That's not half bad given that I can easily get 20 iron per trip. So basically every day I can make about... Eh, 1400 gold just from mining iron and crafting some arrows that's a bit, maybe not quite as good as the berries but you know it's pretty competitive i'm happy with that the bears again scaring me every dang time i thought you guys were hibernating i also think they're faster than they used to be am i wrong on this point i can't tell i feel like the bears have more hit points oh my gosh they definitely have more hit oh my god what is with the bears they've got way more hit points what the heck is happening here? You can't live through that. Don't lie to me. Wow. Wow. I mean, these are like dead on shots in the head. Two or three of those should have been enough. Also, <laughs> but still. Oh my God. Okay, so bears are terrifying again. <laughs> They're sneaky and they have had their health pool doubled or maybe tripled. I don't know. You need a lot of spears. No wonder they increase the durability. God, the bear respawned. We're getting snuck up on again. God, I hope not. There are always supposed to be two. Can I possibly just get into the cave without you giving a crud? Because I really don't need to fight you. It's A-OK -okay with me if you leave me alone. Okay. Maybe um, they made the wooden spears weaker, so there's actually an incentive to go ahead and create the uh, iron pikes now. 
Yeah, that might actually be a more damaging item that's more uh, weight efficient at this point, in which case, yeah, actually building up some a uh, iron spears might be the way to go. We'll try that soon. I like some of the little details in this game, how you can hear the snow crunching as you walk instead of anything else. You know, if you listen here. You hear that, that kind of little crunch sound that you get when you walk on snow that, that only snow can provide? Yeah. Kind of cool little details there. All right, so I'm going to jump ahead again, um, but my goal is to continue getting more resources for more money so I can pay taxes and every day go to the nearby villages and find more people to talk to and try to get some more folks on my side. Oh, and real quick, just note, I spent uh, one of my trips of iron worth, so 20 iron to make a stack of about 100 of those iron arrows. You can see that's about to sell for about 700 gold in total, so there we go. If you really want to dedicate yourself, you probably could make three or four of those trips per day, and that would honestly be completely fine. So loads of money to be had in iron arrows. Highly recommend. You know, I want to test something. Let's see if the bison got an increase in their health pool as well. It actually might not even be a health issue as much as the spears are just less effective than they used to be. Oh my gosh, yep, it sure as heck looks to me like the spears are just straight up not as good. Okay, four, five, six. Okay, six spears instead of two. Yeah, they increase the durability simply because um, you are going to be using uh, your spears a lot more. I'm not sure if that's really a better change. I mean, I get that the spears were a little bit too easy to use, but now you just have to carry around like eight spears to do the same thing. It's just, it just means more crafting for less gain. Uh, that, that, that I could see being conceivably annoying. It looks like I'm wrong, by the way, about using houses to uh, have both men and women. Looks like each house can just have two people in general, regardless of gender. So, okay. More male workers for me. That's fine. They can go and chop trees or something. I don't really care. Not that women aren't equally capable of doing the lumberjack job. As far as I can tell, gender doesn't matter in this game as far as what you are capable of doing or your efficiency. So, you know, whatever. That was a bit of a stereotype on my end. What I really want to know is just having more men and women. Can that lead to procreation on their end? Or am I the only fertile male in this entire valley? Because if so... We may have some serious radon issues or something. I don't know. We need to get that checked. Ooh, I just unlocked the fishing hut. Another lovely source of food. Unfortunately, that's not what I need because it sure as heck looks like we are using up our wood extremely quickly now that I have a population of eight. I'm probably going to need to get myself another woodshed somewhere because you can only have one person working per woodshed. Place one out there somewhere and tell them to dedicate just to making firewood so we can survive winters. Obviously, during the spring, summer, and fall, that's not as big a deal, but during winter, this is quite nasty. One way we could improve the efficiency of this would be to start upgrading houses to be a bit more uh, insular, more uh, thermally efficient, I suppose. But the only way to get daub, I think, think is down let's see the goose house yeah there's the tech and we are a good ways away from that in terms of farming unfortunately so only the thing we can do is brute force it with lots and lots and lots of firewood oh a fishing hut is done nice let's see we did get somebody else uh this person's reasonably good at fishing so i guess we'll go ahead and assign her there so we can go ahead and have fun with that there we go, and out of curiosity, what exactly can we produce with said fishing hut? I'm assuming fish, but maybe also salted fish? That's another thing they recently added into the game. Yeah, there we go, is the ability to um, have salt barrels and stuff directly inside of your hunting lodges and your fishing huts, so you can get salted meats right away. I don't think that increases the nutritional value, and it definitely costs you more, but it should, in theory, preserve it longer, too. Not that I've been having any issues with preservation up to this point, so I don't think that's really worth my time. I don't know, maybe salt becomes more relevant later. So far, it seems kind of negligible. Oop! Okay, we just finished getting our 10th person, so that just gave me a load more dynastic reputation. We need to have an heir for our next stage and get another oh, 500 dynasty reputation. That's, that's a lot of quests, I'm not gonna lie. That is a... Uh, that is a lot of quests. Okay, well, um, may not be able to get that anytime soon, but at the very least, we know the air is about to come out. Just give it a couple more weeks. I do wish there was a way to even out terrain in this game a little bit. I, I keep wanting to place buildings in specific areas to make this town look nice, and it just doesn't want to cooperate worth anything. Seems to me like you really need to focus on finding a good flat area to build your town because otherwise it's just an exercise in frustration. Well, and so ends the winter and wait a minute. You know, are you are you carrying around? Oh my gosh, she's carrying around a little baby. <gasps> I have an heir. 
Oh, he's adorable. So that was the weird grunting noises you were making last night. Okay, I understand now. Wow, all right. So this means that Nyelba is not going to be particularly useful for the next two years. But we do have an heir. So uh, congratulations to me, I think. We named my child Woolabor, I think. Think. Okay, yep, yep, that is indeed my child, um, who's already got some skill in field working and so on, so that's hilarious. Uh, wow, all right. So, baby is capable of working the fields. Well, put him to work, Nyelaba. Why coddle the child? Oh, I almost forgot. We are supposed to continue talking to Alwyn and make progress in his quest. Maybe he'll give me some dynastic reputation. I don't know. How's it going with the practice? You can beat me now. Oh, really? Okay, I'll give you 100 coins to prove that you can. 64 points. I have three arrows. I need to go get a dang bow. Oh my gosh. All right, Alwyn, you're being very irritating, but I can beat you. I can beat you if I have to save and reload as many times as it takes. I'll beat you. All right. Do I just stand as far away as I can and try to hit the bullseye? Is that how it's supposed to work? Why can't I take aim? Oh, right. I have to equip the arrows first. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So here we go. We're going to give her a shot like yoink. Okay, 13 points, it's not great, uh, a little bit lower maybe, and doink. Okay, 21 points, not bad, and doink. Okay, I don't know if we beat him or not, I don't think we did though. Well, that didn't work out as planned, he did beat me. You can try again if you want. No, I'm not gonna keep giving you 100 gold, that's ridiculous. All right, this is where I say we save scum. 100% accuracy, dead on, go, doink. Well, that's like 60 some points, I think. I'm pretty sure he beat him, right? Hi. Well, that didn't work out a plan. Are you kidding me? Even with that, I still lost? Good lord. Oh, there we go. Dead on. All right. That's going to be three errors at 100%. You ain't beating that, child. Boom! I beat you fair and square with zero cheating involved at all. Who's the master? Don't get cocky, kid. You got more experience than I do. No, I do not. You're older than me, I'm pretty sure. What's my reward? You'll see it. I'll practice more and finally wipe that smirk off your face. <sighs> Did you give my 100 gold back? I have to wait a whole nother season. Gosh dang you, Alan, I hate you so much. Unigas, I want to pay my taxes, but you're not interested in talking to me. Does that mean that you uh, are going to let me keep my money? Because I'll happily take that arrangement. I think he's supposed to be sleeping in the game, Bugged. Taxes have gone up, by the way. I've got so many people working for me now, I have to pay 1,200 gold in taxes. And that's only going to get worse. Oh, I hate the government. I hate it so much. Well, I'm finishing up Sewing 2 as a building, so we got an upgrade for my crafting, technically. I don't think it actually gives me access to anything new, though, so I'm not sure what the point really is of upgrading some of these crafting buildings. Seems completely optional and also very, very expensive. But, on the plus side, we get to see some nice plank shingles and stuff, so that's kinda cool. You know, I have somebody assigned to be an innkeeper, which means it's supposed to be my cook. But he's not doing a very good job, because I've got, like, 400 meat in storage that's not cooked, so... I guess I'll spend the next 20 minutes working on roasting up some meat. Alright, 20 minutes may have been a slight exaggeration. 8.9 minutes. I did the math. That is still a very long time to be stuck here just roasting lots and lots of meat. It was, however, enough crafting experience to unlock the pigsty, which is fitting, because we're going to have so much food sitting around that we can feed a million pigs. Either that or we're going to become the pigs. I don't know which. Nyelba, how's the child doing? The child is missing. Oh, God, something is very wrong with my wife. She is hovering over the bed, and she is not actually holding a baby. Where'd the baby go, Nyelba? Where'd you put the baby? It's fine, it's fine, I'm sure everything's fine. In other news, Unigos was able to get out of the wall, thank God. Here are your taxes, you freaking parasite. Okay, this seems like a very good place for me to end this video. Uh, apparently, I have to do a million quests to get another 500 reputation, given they only get, like, what? 10, maybe 20 or 30 each, depending on the difficulty of the quest. This is gonna take absolutely forever, so I'm gonna work on that for a bit. In the meantime, though, the village is looking pretty darn good. We got a lot of people working for me, producing a lot of goods and services. This is awesome. I should probably take a lot of those leathers and furs we've been doing nothing with and actually learn how to make some sort of clothing and actually sell that all off for a profit, too. I don't know. The more people we have working for me, the more skill points they give me, the more tech I can get, the more people I can hire, the more stuff I can produce, the bigger and better we get. 
But it's going to be at least a few more hours before I can see any return on investment there. So thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and pray that the baby is found, because otherwise I'm going to be a very, very sad man. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>